In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to pass a complete object across from a component to another component. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to pass a parameter across to another component and then use that parameter to run an effect hook to retrieve the product. In this case, we have the product details displayed here. So let's take a look at how this works. So if you look at the product list, you have the link specified in the table records. So here we have, let me just make some room here. So we have the table cell and it's linking to this place, which is product slash product ID. But sometimes you may want to actually sign the complete object. In this case, the complete object cannot fit into the URL. So the first thing I'm going to do is to remove this URL parameter. So we are going to actually sign the complete product object to the other component. And then we don't have to run a use effect. We don't have to make any API call because we already have the complete component. So we are going to now use only slash products. And let's now test as we go. So I'm going to test to see what we have. So let's first go to, to the product list. Of course, this does not exist. So let's go to the product list. And I'm going to keep my console window open and let's try to go to the link and it tells us there's no routes that match products. So let's create that route. So let's go to the base component, which is the app.js and let's create the route for slash product. And actually it's the same route. This case, in this one, we have the product ID, but I want to create a route without the product ID and I'm going to now remove this product ID. So the route we have uh, slash product, it exists now. If we go back to check and we try to go to the same route, it's right there. But what is happening now is it couldn't load the product because the product component normally tries to take the URL and fetch that particular product by doing a get by ID and then displayed in the component. But now we have the product URL has undefined because the parameter is no longer available because we removed it. Okay, so what we want to do now is to pass along with this product, we want to pass the complete product along. So this is a product table and this is a link. So how do you do that? You want to use a prop called states. The prop called states and you want to specify what you want to pass along. In this case, I want to pass along the current product. So you have to give it a name, the current product. So this is a name that is going to be used in the receiving component to extract the value. And now the value is going to be product. And this product is actually the current product that contains the record that the user clicked. So we are going to pass, we are going to pass this complete product across to the other component. I'm going to save everything and now nothing will change. Let's now go to the other, other component and see how we can retrieve this product or this data that is passed along. So if you remember, let me just collapse this, sorry. If you remember, we have the use param, this use param, we are no longer going to use use param because the param, the parameter is no longer there. So I'm going to simply remove it and we are not going to be doing a use effect to make an API call. So I'm going to remove it as well. So where is this product coming from? We are going to retrieve this product using the location hook. The location hook is available in the React Router DOM. So you do need to have the React Router DOM installed. And of course, since we have done this before now, we have, uh, if you've used the use params, then the use location will also be available. So I'm going to uh, enter use location in the import list or in the import set of objects. And now we are going to retrieve the location from the, from the use location. So I'm going to say const location is equal to use location. And that is all you need. Oh, but you may be asking, okay, so where is location? What is location? What I think we should do is to log out the location to the console. So instead of running a use effect to do API call, Let's simply display the location to the console. So I'm going to do console.log and specify location. And let's see what displays in the console. 
Let's go back to the form first. I want to clear this console so that we start from the scratch. Okay, we don't have a, an empty route. Permit me to simply add an empty route before we continue. So I'm going to add, I'm going to add an empty route so that if you don't specify anything, you simply display the list of products. So I'm going to save and this should display the list. So, okay. So let's try to click. Let's see what we have. So you can see the location is logged out to the console. Now it contains the path name, the search, the hash, the key. What we are interested in here is the state. So let's look into the state to see what we have. And the state contains a number of things. So we have inside the state, we also have the state. So inside the state, we have the current products. All right. So we are going to extract the current products and then we use it to populate or use it to assign the products that we have on the page. So let's go to the use effect and then let's see if we can assign the products. So we have location.state.current product, right? If I can remember the name we gave it, it's current product, if I'm not mistaken. So let's save everything. Let's just make sure everything is fine. And I'm going to just go back and forth. Okay, so the current product is displayed right here. Okay, you can see it displays. Okay, but now it doesn't populate the products for to be displayed in the details view. So let's go to assign it. It's as simple as simply instead of using this console.log, we simply set the products, right? So we're going to use set product and we specify the location.state.current product and i think this is all you need to do if i save everything now and go back you see that it works perfectly well let's go back and forth and let's try this one and you can see that it works perfectly so this is how to use the use location hook in the previous tutorial we've covered use params hook this time we've covered use location hook I'd like to stop here. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss nuggets like this. Coming soon, we are going to be building a complete inventory management system using React and Spring Boot. And we we'll see in that part. Also, if this tutorial has been informative for you, please uh, like this video. Also, leave me a comment. If there is something you want me to clarify or some issue you have, please uh, let me know in the comment box below. So we we'll see in the next part.